An adult product is being sold under categories that include bubblegum, cherry, pineapple, and other fruit flavors. We're talking about some of the vaping products out there. One Atlanta City Councilman is critical, saying that these marketing of these kinds of items could entice youth to participate. As Fox Wise Morse Diggs tells us, Councilman Michael Bond wants stronger regulations. Morse is live in Northeast Atlanta to share the details with us. Morse. Well, Bond wants to draw the line over some of the things that have been brought to his attention, some of the marketing. However, I talked to the owner of this store here, and she says those fruity flavors, well, they're going to stay. There are at least 5%, I mean 50% of the sales at the store along Cheshire Bridge. They look like, you know, bubble gum. They, 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 they look like candy. Vape products, say the Atlanta councilman, are not for children. So Michael Bond believes regulators can and should close a loophole regulating a segment of the merchandise. They can have this type of advertising on their products. You know, if you're an adult and you make a decision, you're making that decision as an adult. Uh, but children are easily tempted by, you know, bright colors. Vaping is a long-established alternative to nicotine. The owners have repeatedly told Fox 5 they check IDs and an unaccompanied young person or child would immediately be shown the door. If you have someone who is of age that purchases one of these bright bubblegum candy-like vape cigarettes, you know, they bring it home. That could also be an enticement for a child and an intended consequence. The most used fruit flavors are by far what I sell more of. The owner of six vape shops says fruity flavors handled responsibly are not bad. I think it comes down to how things are packaged and if they are packaged in a way that's cartoonish to appeal to younger people, that's where I think the problem can be. We've never been cited. All I've gotten is letters from the Department of Revenue telling us what a good job we have been doing when they send people underage. I don't market to children. Now, so how old do you have to be to enter one of these shops? It used to be 18 years of age. The federal government changed that to 21. Ms. Gano tells me she's just fine with that. Reporting live from Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morris Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morris, thanks.